Yeah, so breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma is a relatively rare condition. Um, there are some series that suggest that for people who have textured breast implants, the risk could be as um, as high as one in 450, but many of the series have shown that the risk is in one in many thousand, um, up to 30,000. Um, it's a lymphoma that occurs around the textured breast implant, most commonly presents with either a mass or a lump or fluid around the breast implant. Um, now that we are well aware of this entity and there's much more knowledge in the plastic surgery community, I think diagnosis has become a lot better, um, but it's important when patients uh, present with a, a late, what we call seroma or fluid collection after a breast implant um, to remove the fluid and to check for lymphoma, uh, which, which when we were first figuring this all out wasn't routinely done. Um, for patients who have localized disease, fortunately people do really well with surgery alone. So if you take out the whole implant and the surrounding capsule and entirely, so we call that uh, entire capsule capsulectomy or excision, um, those patients can be cured with surgery alone. Uh, and and um, there's uh, the proportion of patients who have advanced disease is um, much less common, although they do exist.